Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. <laughs> that just sounded weird. Long time no see. I know it's been a while since I have posted a video and as soon as I decide to start filming, it decides to start pouring the rain outside. So it's raining cats and dogs and it's really, really loud. So I hope you don't really hear it in this video. I think my camera does a pretty good job of like drowning out noise and stuff. So, um, but this is the first time I've filmed a video in several weeks. And if you follow me on Instagram, you kind of know why I haven't been posting any videos recently. Um, and that's kind of what this video is sort of about. This video is going to be on how to stay positive in negative situations, like what I do to stay positive when things are not going the way that I planned or the way that I would want them to, and also kind of like a life update. So I guess first I'll just kind of start with the life update. It kind of ties into what this video is about. Um, but like I said, if you've been following me on Instagram, you know that my dad was in a really bad accident a couple of weeks ago, and I didn't really get into the whole details of what happened, and I probably won't get like too in-depth about everything, but basically on a Monday, my dad got off from work, and where he works, the parking lot to where the employees park is across the street from where he works. So he got off work and he was going to cross the street and he was and as he was walking across the street um, somebody hit him. My uncle actually called my mom and because he works with my dad and told her what happened and my mom like got us all together like me and my brother and my husband had just got off work so he met us up at the hospital but First I thought that my dad was in his truck and got hit, but no, he was walking across the street and I knew immediately like that was really, really serious. So we got to the ER and we waited for like three hours before we could even see my dad. And the longer I waited, the longer I didn't know if he was going to make it or not. And then when I actually saw my dad that night, I did not think that my dad was going to make it honestly like he looked so bad and I've never ever seen my dad look like that before and it was really 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 hard um I hope I don't cry <laughs> so yeah it was really really hard and like the first week that the accident happened was really hard because it was just like just kind of taking a day at a time um, I mean, he got in stable condition, so I pretty much knew he was going to make it, but at the same time, I didn't really know how he was going to be, if he was going to be himself anymore, because he had a really bad head injury and had a lot, a lot of broken bones. Um, but it's been two weeks since the accident now, well, actually a little bit over two weeks, and my dad is improving so, so much, so I just want to thank each and every one of you guys for all the prayers and thoughts that you sent out to my dad because I know that prayer does change things and I feel like my dad is just like evidence of that. Um, so yeah, I just want to thank you for all of your prayers for that and he's doing so much better. He's like in rehab now. He still has quite a ways to go and we're not sure exactly when he's gonna be able to come home yet. So it's still been really hard for me Sorry, the rain is like pouring even harder outside. <laughs> harder outside. Um, so I hope it doesn't drown out what I'm trying to say to you guys. Um, but it's been really hard for me to film because of everything that's going on. And I'm sure that you all understand that. I mean, family comes first for me. I mean, I love you all, but I have to take care of my family. And I had to be there for my dad and for my mom. Um, but I had some time this week and I figured I would go ahead and film you guys, film for you guys and update you guys on everything that's been going on. So that was a big thing. And with all that, it was hard for me to stay positive because it was a very, very negative situation. Um, I was very mad at the person that hit my dad, even though I've never met this person before. But at the same time, um, you know, holding a grudge or having a lot of anger is not going to do anything to change the situation. Um, so into what this video is about, how to stay positive in a negative situation. Um, so in this situation with my dad and also just in my life like at my job right now too 
things have been changing around so much and I don't necessarily deal well with change especially if I don't feel like it's for the better so work has been really hard for me and it's been hard for me to stay positive in what's been going on at my work and what's been going on with my dad um, but these are the little tips or things that I do that I have found have helped me um, I might get my phone because I've jotted down what I want to tell you guys and I don't want to forget any of my tips or what I do to help me stay positive in a negative situation. So number one is definitely prayer or meditation. Um, I mean I'm a Christian person. I know not everybody out there is and so you might not necessarily believe in prayer but I know a lot of people believe in meditation at least if you don't believe in prayer but I'm telling you prayer really does change things and if you can just take a little bit of a little bit of time out during the day to just kind of sit down even if it's like five or ten minutes and just in yourself you know just say a prayer thanking God or whoever you I guess worship I mean I worship God um, but you know just give thanks for the good things that you do have in your life like the situation with my dad wasn't ideal and I hate to see him there in the hospital but I am thankful that he is gonna be able to be himself again and I'm thankful that you know God was watching over him and just other things that I'm thankful about like I'm thankful that I have a good family and a good husband and even if you're just thankful for just um, you know material things like maybe if you have a nice car or if you have nice clothes or if you live in a nice house or maybe you have really supportive friends there's a ton of things that you can be thankful for in your life or maybe just like your health or that things maybe are going right for you or even if they're not going right for you there are a ton of things that you can be thankful for thankful for so just taking time to just pray and be thankful that really does make a difference and change it helps to change your outlook from being negative to more positive that really does help me so definitely prayer meditation and being thankful or grateful make the hugest difference from being negative to changing to being positive and I hope that I'm not all over in this video and that you guys can understand what I'm trying to say to you all um, then also to like if you put on like if you listen to your favorite like music or like uplifting music if you're having like a really bad day or if you're feeling really negative that really does make a difference like it will help to lift your spirits it will help to get your mind off of maybe the negative thing that you were thinking about so definitely like music that you really love that's like your favorite music or uplifting music definitely helps me whenever I'm going through some negative stuff um, so that's another tip um, also to like maybe plan something that you can look forward to whether it be like maybe on the weekend maybe you can plan to have a shopping trip like with your girlfriends or maybe just a shopping trip trip for yourself or maybe you and your boyfriend bro I'm all tongue-tied <laughs> maybe you or your boyfriend or your husband maybe pick a day during the week to maybe have like a date night that could be something to look forward to or I don't know just whatever it may be just find something to look forward to during the week and that really helps me get past feeling maybe negative or you know it just helps me feel a lot more positive um, and then I would say like one of the last things that really helps me change from being negative to positive is helping somebody and I don't necessarily volunteer like I should but if it's just like how, um, like if it's just helping somebody that maybe needs your help at work or just being like courteous to others or just taking like time out of your day to do something for somebody else, that really helps to get you out of that negativity and it gets, it gets you out of thinking about yourself and thinking about others. So just find somebody or something that you can do to help someone else and I really feel like that helps you get it get out of like that negative feeling so <laughs> I hope that those tips were helpful I hope that you all found like those tips helpful on how to stay positive in a negative situation 
I know it's definitely hard and I know me myself like I'm not always the most positive person I know a lot of times my husband gets really aggravated at me and is like you need to stop being negative so this video is definitely for myself as well so whenever whenever I'm having a negative moment I can think about what I've said to you guys and do those things that I've told you guys to do so um, maybe if you all have some tips on how to stay positive when negative things are happening definitely leave them down in the comments because I would love to know like any tips that you all have as well and this could just be a little good place for people to come and maybe feel more positive if they read the comments maybe they could feel a little bit more uplifted or maybe it'll give them an idea of something they can do if it was something that I didn't mention um, so yeah, I hope that you all did find this video helpful, and I am sorry that I haven't been making videos as regularly with everything that has been going on. So um, hopefully I'll be able to start making videos a little bit more regular regularly for you all. I'm like so tongue-tied because I'm not used to filming videos. Um, so yeah, I will see you all in my next video, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, guys. Mwah.